Здравейте на всички! Намерила съм с помощта на Георги най-интересния гост на събитието, всъщност организатор и главен менеджер на Кандела. And here, first time, your first time, and my first time in Istanbul Academy. <laughs> yes, correct. Well, welcome, welcome. <laughs> and thank you very much. Uh, well, you are from America. I am. I'm from the United States. Yes, I lived uh, 19 years in Europe, uh, the most recently. But during COVID, uh, when Spain went on lockdown, my wife and I moved back to the United States. Yes, but you know the market uh, in Europe and. United States also? Well, actually, my job, my job I, you sell I ran Europe, Middle East, and Africa for, oh. for uh, the last uh, 19 plus years. I, I have a global role. I live in America. Um, I'm one of the leaders at Candela. Therefore, I work globally. So I work with our distributors around the world. Very, very, very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of travel. Lots of frequent flyer miles. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Okay, my first question is, uh, which is your favorite device from the Candela? Ooh, my favorite device. Don't say everything. You know, I, I personally don't have tattoos. And people think that the Pico Way laser is, it is the best laser in the world for tattoos. But I think it's missed in that the Resolve handpiece is what blows my mind because basically this the energy in one beam is the energy it takes to light the city of Paris that is impressive number two the the fractional handpiece it's built like a hologram so we used hologram technology so that the that the laser comes to focus under the skin, not on top of the skin. So it's very unique. It's the only one like it in the world. This allows us to go under the skin to create the damage while leaving the surface of the skin intact. That means while your skin is healing from the bottom up, you, have, you don't have the downtime, you don't have the visual appearance that you've had something done while your skin continues to grow and rebuild itself. So I love the um, the 1064 Resolve handpiece. The 532 Resolve is nice um, uh, for, the 532 Resolve handpiece is nice for pigmentation, but the 1064 Resolve, that's gotta be my favorite. You, it, it, you know how you take a magnifying glass and you can tilt it and you, you focus the angle till something can catch on fire, you light a match or something? Mm -hmm. We took that kind of concept and idea and we focused that where it catches fire under the skin. So on top of the skin, it's not focused. So we create holes in the skin. Now your body has to fill that hole in. So it has to stretch the skin. So it comes from the left, the right, the front, the back, the top, the bottom to fill in that hole so we get great tightening without anybody knowing you've had a treatment. So that's why I like that, that device. Something like a magic. <laughs> it is. It is. So that's probably right now my favorite. But, uh, But don't tell anybody. It's like picking no, a favorite no, child. No, no, <laughs> It's like picking your favorite child. You're not supposed to have one, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. But uh, tell me uh, something, if you know, of course, the price for the hair removal treatment mm -hmm. in United States have a different uh, so you know it's funny because if you asked me uh, three to four years ago my answer would be different so what is really taking off in the United States is the immersion of chain clinics because they're getting backed by private equity so there is just money going in and they're opening so fast mm -hmm. so it's it's driving uh the pressure of so many clinics opening is driving the cost of hair removal down so um 
it really depends on the city. You know, if you ask me about a major city, if you say, hey, Robert, New York, Miami, Chicago, Los Angeles, San Francisco, uh, Dallas, Texas, my answer is different than if you ask me about a smaller city like Atlanta or Charlotte, uh, and then much different price if you're asking me about a rural city. So like a Topeka, Kansas, or oh. Peoria, Illinois, something you guys have never heard of. Okay, big city, small area, carry mover. One, so, one, one three, two, one. Right. Yeah, so um, this is a horrible thing to say, but um, uh, if a doctor is going to do the treatment and they don't delegate it, the price is higher in the same clinic. Around. So in the same clinic. So a doctor typically in the United States, their goal is to try to treat the size of a credit card. They want to get uh, roughly $1,000 for their laser um, the size of a credit card. Now that goes, it's not just for hair removal. That price is coming way down. That's for tattoo removals. That's for um, skin tightening. That's for, that's kind of the rule of thumb that a doctor takes. I want to get about $1,000 for my time about the size of a credit card. So you, they lay down how many credit cards it would be and they come up with a price. Now hair removal is, is more restrictive. Let's say a woman's legs, um, top, bottom, front, back, um, they can be as low as um, $350 to $400, but it can be as high as um, $1,200. It depends on where in America. Okay. They are combined the procedure there and devices? They do. So um, combination therapy is a uh, whole new thing because we can, without over treating the area, you can have multiple effects getting a superior result. So, for example, com the, the Nordalis device is a perfect example because you have NDAG, you have two non-ablative fractional lasers, and you have multiple IPL. So, what they'll often do for the, for the vascular or the pigment, they'll clear up the skin with IPL, but then they will also, in addition, uh, go ahead and use the non-ablative fractional for um, skin texture, pore reduction, um, to have uh, more supple skin, uh, and then finally, they're introducing it with drug delivery. Because you've created, with a non-ablative fractional, you created a column in the skin that's still intact, but you created a column in the skin where, with the light, that will suck up the serum that you put on the skin farther down in the skin. So they're combining it with exosomes, peptides, uh, lotions, potions, creams, yeah. um, all kinds of, of uh, products. So also when you're combining um, filler or toxin, uh, like a Botox, um, we like to uh, treat the area first um, so that you know where those wrinkles are that you're trying to get. So um, lasers can be used. It, it, if you're going to use an injectable like a toxin or a filler, all we're doing is injecting light. We're adding the injection of light to your other injections. Yeah. Is a, uh, this is a trend in America too and Europe? Oh, yes. Or... And it's growing uh, exponentially. Mm -hmm. So I just got back from a conference in, in Bangkok, Thailand, and all the talk was on how to use exosomes and peptides post laser treatments. Um, I was in a, down in Brazil uh, recently, a few months ago. Um, they must have had hmm, five, six different sessions in different rooms on the exact same topic. So one, one month I'm in Thailand, the next month I'm in Brazil, but their topics to these physicians is the same. Thank you. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, your favorite procedure to do to yourself? My favorite procedure to do to myself? Oh, I, uh, it would be hair growth, uh, but I, we don't have that. But uh, that would definitely be it. Hair growth or um, uh, maybe some body shaping, body, body sculpting. <laughs> <laughs> um, that would be, that would be 
my my top two. But um, uh, you know, uh, I think my wife and I would differ on this one. Her favorite, uh, she loves the hair removal, uh, of course, but uh, she also, um, as she and I both age, um, we. Uh, she loves getting rid of the pigmentation and the vascular um, that that presents itself. I have a different complexion than my wife, blonde hair, blue eyes, and, and pale skin. So I have a little less uh, pigmentation, uh, fortunately. But um, and, and she stayed out in the sun a lot more as a child than I did. Yeah, so sure. uh, I, since we've been married, I keep reminding her sun protection, sun protection, sun protection. It, it depends. I feel like I need, a, I need to do IPL at, for myself at least once a year. Um, I love doing the Pico laser and particularly around my eyes, uh, the Pico Resolve that I mentioned. Um, I like doing that. Um, uh, the V-beam for vascularity and for scar revision, you know, that is a must. But I've done it now where that's now gone. But I don't want to downplay that because that is such a phenomenal treatment. Um, so uh, my wife and I would have different answers. What do you know about Bulgaria? Ooh, I've been to Sofia. Okay. Uh, I have uh, been to Bulgaria. Um, I like the food. I went to several different churches. Uh, beautiful countryside. It uh, unfortunately... It was uh, raining uh, for about two or three of the days that I was there. Actually, it snowed one of the days. So, so it was raining two days and snowed one day. Um, but I love downtown Sofia. It, the, it was very warm and inviting. And what I liked best, I, I, I really enjoyed the architecture and the churches and, and understanding a little bit about its history. But nothing can replace the people. What a warm, inviting uh, group of people. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Thank you. You say an, an advices, sun protection, sun protection, sun protection, yes? <laughs> you have to. I'm telling you, if you want anti-aging, start soon. And it doesn't matter when you start, always be, always be using sun protection. It's a lot cheaper preventative maintenance. Five years ago, we talked about rejuvenation of the skin because we waited so long to have that happen. Now it's called prejuvenation because oh. people are starting at younger and younger age. Today's millennials are spending up to 20% of their income on self-improvement and making themselves look and feel better. By doing this, by starting this process in the prejuvenation side, it extends their aging. So instead of us coming into this at, in my case, into my 50s, but instead of coming into this, trying to reverse the clock, slowing down the clock in the beginning. So those people out there who are starting in their mid and late 20s, mid, you know, early 30s, they're the ones who are going to push that clock and make that clock slow down. The rest of us are trying to turn that clock backwards, and it's much harder to turn the clock backwards than it is to slow it down. But we love the jobs we do. <laughs> we do, we do. We make people, you know, we make people happy. We make them feel better about themselves, more self-confidence, um, feel better about themselves when they look in the mirror or go out, they'll go out in the evening. So that's why I like what we do. Yes, me too. My last question. Okay. Is it true or false? <laughs> Because I get half of those right. <laughs> It's perfect. And my last question is, um, why do people need to choose Candela devices? Candela. First of all, I would say you don't have to choose Candela. You don't. But if you're going to invest money and you're going to want that money to have a payback, then the choice is very clear. So if, if you look, if you want to spend money, you can spend it on any of those. You can't predict the outcome, but at Candela, we have our motto is science, results, trust. We have 
we have been doing this for 58 years. We invented this industry. So with the pulse dye laser, it started for children with pediatric port wine stains. And we've been doing this ever since. So we have PhDs, physicists, um, physicists for lasers, physicists for optics, physicists for, uh, we have some of the most, cooling. The, the cooling system for the patient different protection. Silence. It's completely different. So that we take the science so that we can guarantee you the, the results that you need. And if we can give the clinics the confidence that they can pass on to their patients, then the clinic will only grow because word of mouth spreads. I say that um, you can have a beautiful office in the, most, in the best part of town, but you can change your office. You can, you can buy equipment, you can change out equipment. You can, you can have a great staff, but your staff will move on and you can move, replace your staff. The one thing you cannot replace is your reputation. That's why practices choose Candela because they can't, no matter how they, they can change equipment, they can change their staff, they can move offices, but they can't change their reputation. And that's where Candela comes in. We are not the cheapest but we are the best. When is the best ever the cheapest? <laughs> when? No. So we have to be able to continue our research so that we can continue to bring tomorrow's solutions today. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, you're more than welcome. Was that it? Yeah, Woo! thank you very much. I don't know if I passed or not. But... <laughs>